Hi, and welcome to 4 Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. And in this video, we'll show you how you can find and use templates to, short, to shortcut your way to using Notion. Now, Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. Subscribe to 4 Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. Notion is incredibly flexible, but it can also be a little overwhelming. And one way to cheat the learning curve, or at least to have Notion be even more useful while you are learning, is to use templates. Now, templates are pre-designed Notion pages or groups of pages that someone has created and then made available for anyone to download. Notion has a set of templates that it makes available, but if you were to Google Notion templates, you'll find that there are many other people that have created templates for Notion. Most of these templates are free, although for some, you may need to put in your email address. Now, templates can be a great way to see how someone else uses Notion to solve a problem, and you can download it, play around with it, customize it, and if you like it and you decide to keep it, you can do so without any additional cost. This is how I came up to speed, and while we currently only use pages that we built ourselves, I did use templates to get started and to learn the ropes. Now, to get templates, look near the bottom of your navigation panel over here on the left, and it says Templates. You click on Templates, and a box will, will come up that has several categories of templates, design, education, engineering, etc. So let's say you want to just uh, explore, and my guess, my suggestion is that you hit the toggle switch on any of these, uh, and it will expand, and you decide, oh, I really want a task list. Let's take a look at the task list. Well, this is not exactly what I was looking for. Maybe I want a reading list. This is not what I was looking for. Maybe you want to have a tracker. Now, this is something that could be interesting. All right, so I see something that I'm interested in. In order to use this template, I just click on Use This Template. Now, before I do that, I want to point out, as if you want to, you can browse more templates. When you click on this, you will go to a Notion web page of even more Notion-based templates or Notion-provided templates. Uh, so that's an even a bigger resource. But let's say I want to use this template. I click on Use This Template. And what it does is it creates an exact duplicate on my navigation bar over here. At this part, at this point, this page is now mine. I can customize it, play around with it. I can add a, a, a cover. I can uh, change the columns. I can change the property types. I can move things around. I can delete things. Uh, I can try to see if I want to make this my own and to use it going forward. And if ultimately I don't like it, I just go up here into this corner and I click this and I hit uh, delete and the page is gone, right? So uh, it's very easy to find out what somebody else is doing in, template, uh, in templates and then see if there is a way that you can apply that to yourself. Now, some of these templates, they use a database structure that's different than the one that we've so far explored, but we're going to get to types of database in a future video and I will link that in the description below. So now you know how to search for, download, and use templates in Notion. If you have any questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, add it in the comments below. And be sure to check out our other four-minute answer videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks, and see you soon.